following the big race on election day. Thank you. All right, I'm going to take you to the touch screen real quick before uh, John brings in the congressman. We're taking a look, obviously, at Georgia, and we look at the results of the midterm elections. Obviously, this is the big race that we're waiting on here. And when you look at that early voter turnout, I mean, this tells a big part of the story that we're seeing right now. It's looking good for Warnock when you look at the early voter turnout. Uh, just showing you the number here that Charles Watson just highlighted, and that is uh, one point, uh, nearly 1.9 million. That's 27 percent of registered voters. Voters. That's early in-person voting and mail-in ballots uh, that have been returned. That is running below 2021 levels, uh, but that is what we are seeing so far. When you go into where the candidates are going to be campaigning today, Cobb County, uh, as far as looking at the results from the uh, midterm elections. Cobb County, this is where Walker will be on the ground today. He is trying to run up his midterm election vote outcome, trying to shrink the margin there. So that's where he's going to be spending his day. Uh, that is the third ranked population in the state. Obviously, Fulton County is number one as far as where most of the votes will come from, home to Atlanta, Georgia. As far as population rank, DeKalb County, this is another one where Warnock's just trying to run up the vote there, run the table. Uh, high, high margin of uh, victory in the midterm election turnout there. And then you go just north of DeKalb, Gwinnett County, okay, and this is where Warnock is spending his time. He's trying to run up the margin by which, which he won the midterm election vote uh, turnout there in Gwinnett County. Almost 60% then, if he turns out that vote this time around, that's starting to look pretty good for him. So that's what we're watching on Election Day, a couple key counties obviously surrounding the Atlanta area there. John? It's all about getting people out to the polls if they hope to counter the early vote.